Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Valorant Special. I think this is now the 15th Special, I'm pretty sure. And this is for September 20th. Uh, first of all, let's just have a look at the previous one that I looked at in the last video. Here it is, the September 19th. So there's Americas, EMEA, Pacific, and China. Let's now have a look now at Americas. And there's been some changes, especially from the Brazilian scene. Um... Sentinels, nothing. EG, nothing. Leviathan has a lot of possible changes. So, the first one I guess we'll talk about is Mazino, Nosware, King, and Aspas. All of them are now have not gone up to certain. So, they're pretty certain to be joining the team. Uh, Havoc, he's, he's now unlikely to be joining Leviathan. Well, Pank, I'm pretty sure, is a bit of a weirdo. Uh, he is currently on trial with Leviathan. Other than that, no other changes there. Cloud9 currently looks like that Whippy will be joining C9, so it's probably going to be like a, a mixture of like V1 kind of what it looks like to me, so it's just not too bad. Uh, Loud, Rafa, and Gervin, both of them are rumored to be possible candidates for Loud. Well, Tuzzy uh, has, is, will possibly be leaving, but is currently unconfirmed. Well, Les and SDKJ, both of them are pretty certain to be joining Loud. Uh, Kuri Sports Asko is now, has now gone up to possibility, so there's a chance he might join crew. Darko will not be joining crew esports at all. Uh, Pank, he's currently on trial, while Shy, um, who's obviously from, formerly from Leviathan, he's currently unlikely to be joining crew esports. Hunter Thieves, nothing. Furia, Gervin, he's, he's uh, unlikely to be joining Furia, but Aspas is officially off the Furia. Uh, Aspas is also officially off G2. NRG Tex is now looking more likely to be joining NRG. Um, Aspas and Finesse, both of them are gone. And MIBR is zoned. His possibility of joining MIBR is lowered, uh, including DG Zen and SKZ. Both of them are currently now on trial. While Artsin, who's now a new face, he's currently on trial as well with MIBR. So there's been a couple changes. Uh, to, to the Americans, especially from the Brazilian scene, and I, I should say as well, the Latin American scene as well. EBA now, and there's been a couple of, a couple of changes as well, Fnatic nothing, Giants Gaming nothing, Foot is now looking more certain, maybe even a possibility that Cena will be joining Foot, but not really too sure. Team Liquid nothing, Coin nothing, Carmine Core nothing, Team Vitality nothing, Navi nothing, Gentlemates nothing, Team Heretics nothing, and BBL Esports. It was confirmed that Solzhenyi has officially left the team, so they are now looking for a new IGL, which might be JJ. Or J's, I can't remember, yeah. Yeah, JJ, I'm pretty sure they say his name. Uh, Kishner X, he's now looking more likely to be rejoining BBL Esports, so that's really all for EU. Not a lot, I'll be honest. It's just mainly the Turkish teams are still making a couple changes, especially BBL, uh, with Solskjaer officially leaving the team. Pacific now, and not a lot of changes here as well, actually. Zeta Division, nothing. DRX, nothing. Talent Esports, nothing. Detention Focus, mean nothing. Team Secret, nothing. Global Esports has confirmed that Russ will be will be joining um, the team. Apparently has a new IGL, which is interesting. I uh, don't know if that's actually true or not, but according to the spreadsheet, uh, he will be the new IGL, which is actually pretty interesting to see. Health, he's, he would not be joining uh, Global Esports. I'm pretty sure Russ is the quote-unquote third Indian player, but uh, yeah. Gen G, nothing. Paper X, nothing. Bleed, Aspas is officially gone. Team 1, nothing. And RIQ, also nothing. And then finally, for China. Uh, currently, nothing new on China. I don't think he's actually updated Autumn yet to basically signed. Um... And that's all we really know. So that's really about it for me. I know a very, very uh, short video, and I apologize for that. But that's really all I mean. There, there hasn't been, there hasn't really been a lot of changes made. I guess you could talk about like global esports, Cyan Russ. Uh, like you maybe say for for EU, like the Turkish is making some changes, and then the Latin and the Brazilian scene also making drastic changes as well. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.